Good morning. It is Thursday morning and we are getting ready to head to Galveston, Texas. Take it on this good old ship that me and Charles been waiting on forever. You ready up, baby? I'm ready. Yeah, it's time. Like, Lord Jesus. We were supposed to leave at 4 o'clock in the morning, but I woke up at 4, like, let's leave now. And Charles was like, my alarm was already set for 6 o'clock. I was like, okay, that's cool. I'm sleepy anyway. So, we are going to go ahead and hit the road. And uh, let's just see how long it takes us to get there. Ugh. Ain't nobody here. Damn, no. what's up? That's how you know we can hold. We literally took a cruise just to get away. We didn't care what ship it was on, where it was yeah. going. And we got here. And it's, the parking is amazing. Like, what? Thank you. It never fails. I can just never. take it out. Not okay. This is the room we got this time around. Here are our keys. Really nice. All right. Okay. Not too. Not too bad. Again. I didn't forget. 
<laughs> this is our first interior together, huh? Yeah, we've never my got first interior ever. Oh, it is your first interior ever. Okay, yeah. I'm actually glad I made them push it together instead because I was gonna have my own bed. <laughs> You're right. Okay, we made it into our rooms and um, and Charles walked in and he was like, "Ooh, I forgot we got an interior." So yes, we got an interior this time because it was a last minute trip and uh, it was last minute because we booked it what last month. Yeah. No, we booked it at the end of January. Yeah, and we wanted it to be an affordable trip because we really have a we have a big trip coming up this summer so that was the only way that charles is going to allow us to even go on a cruise is if we got one that was not super expensive because dominican is going to cost an arm and a leg so this is literally the room what you see is what you get that's in honey baby you're gonna be okay without windows yeah hey sugar daddy you're gonna be okay without windows yeah. take your glasses off man I need to see. Oh, look at that. Boy, oh, you sexy ass man. You know, like a, a blob of. <laughs> like a, a blob of thumb. <laughs> I like a thumb right now. You always say that about yourself. Sometimes. I do like a thumb sometimes. Sure. Which one? <sighs> okay. Let's see. Charles and I are still waiting on our bags. They are not here yet. Last time went on a vista and we had to wait a minute for our bags and actually charles bag came after mine but when you're waiting on a bag and you know you have stowed away rum runners it's like the worst feeling in the world because you're just like hope that my rum makes it on or my alcohol makes it on but we we do have we do have wine right there just in case and if all else fails if this goes right I, instead of me having to like buy a bubble or buy a package which I don't it doesn't benefit us to buy a package only because it's just so expensive it's $55 per day per person so even if Charles doesn't drink they're gonna charge him for it because I purchased one so it's in essence $110 a day times four so that's what 440 bucks ain't nobody got time for that for to you let us spend over $400 on some liquor that's crazy right no ain't gonna be able to do it so this is why we we opt to do the rum runner deal is i'd rather take my chances yeah take your say. chances because if they find it they don't kick you off the ship they don't just, kick you off i yeah. mean they just take your liquor and then you just get to cruise and then you always you get you can bring one 750 milliliter bottle of wine per person mm -hmm. or per adult yeah uh in your room so if you got two adults in a room you get two bottles of wine so if the wine if the other liquor doesn't make it then you got that. You got at least two bottles of wine there. So this is what we did. So I told you all the wine we got, but then we also got this. Uh oh. I won't. We did bring on two cases of, so you can bring two cases of pop or drink. So we got LaCroix, the passion fruit kind, and then we got these right here. Sparkling waters. Sparkling waters. And I did stop and get um, some Snickers and I ready just an airhead just to have a snacky wacky. No. Um, if we were to stay in the spa area, it would be a robbery there. The rooms would cost pretty much the same. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to wait here until we hear our bags. The problem is, though, people have already gotten their bags in that area. <laughs> I don't think it matters. It doesn't matter? No, they... they Kind of, they don't, I don't think there's any kind of real Method to early it? way that they put them in there. Oh, okay. Okay. So we'll just wait. I just wish we was one of those people that our bags were here when we walked to the door, but we also got here as soon as the door is open. So we actually got in our room before they even made the announcement. So I don't know. I'll get off here and then I guess I'll come back and let you know what happened. Okay, so my bag is here. We're going to open the door. See? We're shine. Okay. Let's just see. <clears throat> well, it doesn't look like. Right. All right, before we open it up, what are your predictions? Well, okay, so the bag is still pretty tight. So I don't think they went in here. And I still feel like there's something underneath there, so I think my stuff may be in here. Yeah. Can you see the bag good? Yeah. 
Yeah. Did you put those on there as like hints as to whether or not it was gonna still be there? No, just in case they scan my bag and it's all liquid. Oh. Uh, like I did last time. Okay. We have liquor. We have liquor. All right, so let's pull it out and see. She put them in her little compartment, huh? That's kind of underneath all the stuff. There it is. Voila, magic. Wrap it up really good to prevent any leaks. Yeah, most of them are not supposed to leak, but just in case they do. And it kind of helps you from getting all over your stuff. There's one. one. One pack of rum. How, what size bag is that big? I think this one is a 32. 32 ounce? Yeah, this is a 32 ounce. Um, and then here's the other. This one is a 32 ounce bag as well, but it didn't get full all the way. So, we have the other one of the big ones, or the full ones in my bag. So, hopefully my bag comes and makes it with that one. Alright, so we are two for two. We got our liquor on here, y'all. So that means that got that done. So now we have to wait for Charles's bag, and then that shall be it. Okay. I'm on the boat. Have to go I'm like on this the boat. Now. Ready? I'm on the boat, baby. I like a thumb. Come on. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay. We just finished our mandatory mustard bre briefing, which sucks, but Charles's bag is here. Here's your bag, boo. Oh my lord. Still tired, lord. Got it. Okay. Woo! Uh oh. They got it. Yep, smuggle. <gasps> Did you put it in the lining? No, I have have no in the lining. Yep, they got it. Oh, dang. Well. Oh no, it'll be secure. What does that mean? Like Your items will be stored in a secure location and return to you on debarkation morning in the One Small Step nightclub located on Deck 5 Promenade aft between 6.30 a.m. and 9 a.m. Okay. All liquor beer and other forms of alcoholic beverages can't bought our fronts. Oh man, so all liquor will be discarded. Oh really? Well, we got one and a half bags in. <laughs> okay, so we're like one and a half for two because yeah. Charles did get one of his, the bigger one. I should have kept the bigger one. You should have kept the bigger one. It's fine though. So, no, 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 no. They said it was a smuggle. Smuggle. This is on your record. This is on your permanent record. You are now a criminal, bro. I'm a criminal. You all you had to do was put it in your lining. The lining would have protected you, my G. I don't have really no. So Charles was saying he what he should have done. What you should have done, baby? Okay, so I think what you need to do is when you have your liquor hidden, you need to make sure that you wrap everything up nice, put some clothes and stuff on it. But you also need to put like some type of liquid item on top of that because what they do is scan your bag and then they'll see like there's some kind of liquid or something in there so they'll check it and then if they see something else that's liquid on top of that they'll just assume that's what it was uh -huh. and they'll put it back i did that the last time for some reason i didn't do it this time and i think that's how they caught it probably so but it's okay baby we got two bottles of wine and we have our own liquor here so that's all right that's all right we took one for the team we got we oh, had Trina, you did do that this time too, i did right? i did she and did even in the video i pointed to it like do this do that yeah so there's that so that's an important factor make sure you put something yes that's not uh confiscatable uh that's liquid that's on liquid top or cream. of wherever you put 
your liquor at. Yeah, and I did that specifically. I placed it, y'all. So I'm gonna do that. If y'all haven't already seen the video on how to package it and get it on board, that will be linked in the description box below. So look at that video after you leave here. Um, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and finish getting ready. I gotta block out my brows, put some lashes on, conceal that a little bit, and we're gonna go upstairs. Ooh. Baby, I turned well, not turning in, but I'm gonna take a nap. What you about to do? I'm about to just go explore the ship a little bit. I'm so sleepy, so I'm gonna get a nap. And I'm still sleepy because I didn't get a nap yesterday. So I need to take a nap right now so I can catch up with my sleep. And then Charles, please look in for like an hour or an hour. Okay. I'm gonna take a quick look, maybe 30 minutes or an hour nap. Charles can go roam and I'll wake up when he comes back. I'm praying that I do because I might just be like, mm. She might be out for the night. We'll see. I, I don't want to be though because there's stuff I want to go do. But I don't want to feel obliged, like obligated to do it either. And I don't think Charles wants that for this trip. So I don't really know. We're just going to take it how it goes. We'll play it by ear. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll play it by ear. We feel like going. We feel like going. If we don't, this is purely a relaxation trip. Yeah. And if he wants to do something by himself and I don't feel like it, he can go. He didn't have to wait on me. But no, my husband, I don't know. Please go. If you want to go somewhere. Yeah, yeah, we're all right. Call. In between time to the next no, time. We're going to end the vlog here. Um, hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. We will come back tomorrow with more stuff. Um, maybe clips from tonight. But in the meantime, in between time to the next time. Bye. Bye.